have all the equipment here in this lab to produce golf balls from scratch. So to make a golf ball, conventional rubber cord golf ball, we start with rubber, which is butadiene rubber, and it goes in the mill. And in here, these, these rollers will rotate and work the rubber and get it up to a temperature where we can work with it, about 120 to 150 Fahrenheit. And from there, we come over to the preformer, and it's basically an extruder. And what it does, we take this, we put it inside the barrel and close it up and squeeze all the air out of it. The soft rubber is extruded through a die, and there's a knife that cuts these preforms. And this is a, a rubber preform for a golf ball. It's basically uncured rubber. Uh, it's uh, very similar to what chewing gum is, actually. And this goes into the compression machine. A compression molding machine, the mold is uh, 320 to 360 Fahrenheit. And we load these in here, and the mold will close up and basically cook those preforms and vulcanize the rubber and, and give it the final properties that we need for a ball. These are finished cores. These are all vulcanized. Um, they have you know, good golf ball properties. And you can see the bounce. You know. If you drop a preform, this is not round, but it's just going to fly. And then we come over to the grinder. On this one, we can load five at a time. And it goes forward and grinds them. It gets them down to the dimension we want, gets rid of the flash, and then it ejects the parts. So after the cores have been ground, then we, we're ready for injection molding. This is an injection mold for golf ball R&D. Each one of these is a different mold. These are smooth cavities, obviously, and they're different dimensions for different mantle thicknesses. So this is the runner channel. All the molten plastic travels through here, goes through here, and then surrounds the ball. So to mold this, I'd put it in the dimpled cavity. The mold would close up and inject the plastic through this channel. And it would encapsulate the ball, and you'd get a finished golf ball. When the ball comes out of the mold, it has this runner system attached to it. We have to cut this runner part off, and we leave a little bit of a gate vestige. The ball will spin, and there's a cutter that takes the, the gate remnant off. And then there's a sanding wheel that'll buff it smooth. We use an ultrasonic cleaner to clean the balls. And then we go to the coating room. The balls go on these work holders here, just to like a pinpoint. It's a conveyor belt. They reach this point, and they start to spin. And we have the spray nozzles spraying paint on the balls. One's coming up here, the other one's coming down here, so we get an even coat. And to make sure we have the right coating, we do a visual inspection. And we also weigh the ball before it was painted and then after it was painted. We call that the wet weight, and that tells us we have enough coating on the ball. Package them and ship them. <laughs>